The Arab neighborhood of Silwan, on the outskirts of Jerusalem's old city, encapsulates the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Only a few hundred meters from the Temple Mount in the Western Wall, this area has been a source of dispute for many years. Recently, tensions increased when a group of Jewish settlers decided to move into the neighborhood. But apparently, the Jewish history in this place is much older and goes back to the 19th century. In 1882, a group of Yemenite Jews settled in this area, which back then was called Shiloach Village. Where are we? Right under the old city, right next to the Temple Mount, maybe 500 meters uh, close. You see the city of David right here on the mountain, and of course Mount of Olives is right behind us, and they build their life right here, right here because they want to be close to Jerusalem, they want to be close, they can't live in the old city, so they come to the closest place. In the beginning they live here in caves, but slowly, slowly they build a community, later on 150 families, a big, big, big shul in the center of the community, and this is where the Yemenid village live. For the past few years, the Kidmat Jerusalem group has been giving special tours in Silwan. One of their main projects is the Yemeni Synagogue, one of the few buildings from that period still standing today. This small synagogue tells the amazing story of the Yemenite community in the area, a small but strong community that came to Jerusalem following their dream of a Jewish revival in the Holy Land. It's incredible. It gives me a, a, such a special feeling to know that people built their life here and, and, and now we are building it again. We have an, even have a picture, a very picture right here of the Mori. The Mori was the Yemeni teacher. You see the Mori sitting here, standing up with all of the children sitting around and teaching them. And you feel the history, you feel how everything is waking up again, everything is building up again. The Yemenite village was evacuated in 1939 following Arab riots that forced the Jews to flee Silwan. In 2012, an Israeli court agreed to allow the right-wing organization Ateret Koanim to move into the former synagogue. The state of Israel agreed to invest 4.5 million shekels to establish a heritage center on the site. In August 2018, the project was launched by officials such as Culture Minister Miri Regev. We are surrounded here with Jewish heritage of 3,000 years. The Palestinian can dig here as long as they want. They wouldn't find here even one Palestinian coin. The new Jewish residents in Silwan received a cold shoulder from their Arab neighbors, who saw their presence as a violent intrusion. Criticism also came from within. The Jerusalem watchdog organization Iramim accused Ateret Koanim and the Elad organization of purchasing the real estate in underhanded ways. But uh, if you look at the actions, their entrance to the village from the start, from two decades ago, was with force and with, as we call it, uh, shady dealings. And uh, their presence uh, in the village is just uh, taking over more and more uh, areas from the residents to their aims. Nevertheless, Jewish settlement in Silwan continues. Recently, three new Jewish families arrived, and there are plans to expand the Yemenite Heritage Center. Yosef Bruce, the executive director of the Kidmat Jerusalem organization, says that ever since he started bringing groups to the site, he has gathered more and more evidence regarding the descendants of the original Yemenite Jews who used to live here. People call us, people say, I'm the son of somebody that grew here. I'm the son of the one that uh, uh, lived in, and grew up in this area. We have uh, lots of interviews. We did 25 years ago when we started a research in this area. We did interviews of people who lived here. They explained us, this was my house, this was the rabbi's house, this was my neighbor's house. And they walked with us in different areas. Then we started to learn what this place is. Nearly 80 years after the Yemenite Jews left this area, this neighborhood looks very different. Nowadays, with attempts to bring Jews back to the area, one question remains unanswered. How should we call the village? Silwan? Or perhaps Shiloach?